Hello student, welcome to Global Online Classes. So students, this is a new series that we have started for the preparation of UGC NET Paper 1. And in this particular lecture, I will be taking top MCQs from higher education systems. And I am sure I will be adding 10 more lectures on higher education system. And if you watch all those 10 lectures, all your concepts from higher education system will be clear. And I will be telling you how to answer question based on your knowledge, right? So follow these lectures. Uh, seriously and then uh, uh, you will be able to solve all any question that is coming from the higher education system in your examination now moving to the questions first question is which of the following are e-learning platforms so uh, students they have given us five e-learning uh, five options and of that they have asked which are the e-learning platform so obviously there are some options which are not e-learning platforms so just to go by you know elimination method uh, simply we we all uh, we all are aware that soyam and soyam prabha are government of india's popular initiative so let's say you know them right so a and c are e-learning platform you just have to see which option which option has a and c so you can directly say that b is the correct answer here right you don't need to uh, do so much of head scratching right so now I can tell you Soyam and Soyam Prabha are the e-learning platform of government of India where you get video lecture courses and then the Diksha is a e-learning platform where you get PDF material from all the uh, all the NCRT and all the state all the board uh, that is that are run by the state government. So you will get all the PDFs right and MOOC is massive open online learning courses right so here uh, it is an international platform where you get to learn all the e-courses uh, from the top universities across the world now the option b that is parak parak means in a hindi translate it is a hindi word and uh, english translation comes as a assessment right so remember parak is a uh, assessment platform of aict it assess the students on the overall development so remember the only option that is not e-learning platform is b parak so our correct answer is a c d e that is option b i hope all of you have uh, answered this correctly now we'll move to the next question so in this question they have given us the uh, match the following and on one side they have given us the institutes of uh, national importance and on other side they have given their location so here uh, friends or students if you look at our syllabus of higher education system so there are 55 to 60 uh, national important institutes so you have to remember them and i understand that it is not possible to remember all of them their location their full form so what you have to do is remember 15 to 20 institute correctly so you have to be 100 percent sure about the 15 to 20 institutes and then you can use the elimination technique in all the questions of this type or you know uh, when they ask you for the location or uh, when they ask you for the uh, names right so uh, i'll tell you how to use it right nac as we know national assessment and accreditation council it is based in bangalore so a uh, option a uh, will go to match uh, with a two right that is bangalore so if you look in the option so there are only a and b where a is equal to two right so your uh, probability of getting correct answer is 50 percent here if you know one option and then if you know the any second answer like national c that is national dairy research institute that is based in karnal haryana so if you see c4 so a2 and c4 so you only have option b so if you know two options so you are 100 percent sure and if you know one your probability is 50 percent that's why i told just remember 15 to 20 institute with their name and location right so this is one thing now b is national northeast initiative development agency and it is based in kohima then cdri as we know central drug research institute it is based in uttar pradesh Lucknow. so this is a csir institute now so these are the four options that is uh, correct answer is b now moving on to the next question question is cbcs stands for so students as uh, you might be knowing that university uh, ugc is uh, trying to have a uniform grading system across indian universities right uh, now as you you are aware that there are marking system in some universities then there are there is a grading system in some universities so sometimes when you know companies hire or for the higher admission abroad uh, it, it becomes uh, difficult to uh, convert your marks to grade right and then uh, you cannot have uniform uh, judgment of the student based on the uh, 
marks to grade conversion so now uh, that uh, university want to so ugc want to go to the grading system and from the grading system they have introduced cbcs that is choice based uh, credit system right so in this uh, cre choice based credit system uh, student is allowed to <coughs> choose courses uh, that is core courses so the course courses are those who which are compulsory and then there are elective courses what is elective courses in elective courses you will be given a pool of say uh, 10 subject and from that you can choose three or two whatever is you know required so uh, in choice based credit system you are you can choose elective and then soft skill courses so remember this choice based uh, credit system when some question they might ask you know what is core uh, course and then what is elective course uh, so these two things you have to remember core course means for any particular program the core course you have all the courses in the core under core courses will be compulsory and for the elective uh, you can choose from the pool of the courses right i hope you have understood everything if there is a doubt as i said a comment in the comment the question is in the context of higher education honorable supreme court has directed which of the following national body or organization to frame the frame and prescribe a course in environment education so friends remember uh, very recently supreme court has advised uh, ugc for framing a course a six module course for all the undergraduate course uh, undergraduate students under the ugc uh, uh, affiliated university and colleges to have a six model environmental course right and it is uh, directed to the ugc remember ugc so nc it uh, national council nct is national council for teacher education then ncrt we all know uh, and then we have aict which looks after the technical education so remember six model course for all the undergraduate students first year undergraduate students studying in uh, universities affiliated uh, to UGC and the colleges right so uh, this was the answer moving, to, moving on to the next question so the question is a uh, Niti Aayog is so they have asked us the full form of the Niti Aayog so remember because uh, there is a point that is you know policy making so in this policy making uh, from policy making syllabus they ask different institute their full form or their you know uh, their uh, duties so uh, niti Aayog is uh, a national institution for transforming india so that is niti Aayog, and as we all know that it is uh, it has replaced the previous planning commission that is formed in, in in the year 2015 right so remember niti Aayog is national institution for institution for transforming india now so the question is which of the following are essential for the good governance of the college and universities so options are academic autonomy legal autonomy financial autonomy and administrative autonomy so friends or students remember when university is established or by the law of india so every university will have two councils right first is executive council and then there will be a academic councils so academic council will look after the academic uh, things and the executive council will take the decision regarding the administrative as well as the financial uh, matters in the institute so remember this uh, academic council and executive council they will take uh, care of these two de three decisions and the legal autonomy so universities uh, do not have the legal autonomy so our correct answer comes is a that is a c and d right so moving to the next question question is on which of the following date national education day is celebrated every year so friends remember the important dates uh, with regards to higher education like you know national education day teachers day and uh, there are several other days like international education day so if you remember all those dates so you will be able to answer this question as national education day is celebrated on 11th of november on the birth anniversary of maulana our first educational minister uh, Maulana Abul Kalam Azad and they have started celebrating this from the year 2018 right the destiny of India is being shaped in her classrooms so this is this sentence or this uh, 
uh, slogan is stated in which of the commission so friends remember you have to study these commissions carefully you have to note down all the important points out of all these commissions right and then there will be a sure shot one question based on the commissions right and so this uh, destiny of india is shaped in the classroom was mentioned in the educational commission of 1964 that was also called kothari commission and it traced on the radical restructuring of our educational uh, our education and the inclusion right so these two points that kothari commission has uh, focused right uh, coming to the next question so the, the question is on nep 2020 so friends do this topic very carefully because in every shift and every exam after the nep 2022 2020 has come out there is a question on this so they have asked the new curricular and pedagogical structure of the school education as proposed by nep 2020 is so friends the correct answer is 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 here first 5 years is for uh, developing a foundation then next 3 years for uh, is a preparatory stage then next 3 years is for middle stage and the rest four years are for secondary stage so remember this 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 so you have to remember this formula right now uh, going to the next question nep 2020 prioritizes the increase in the gross enrollment ratio in preschool to secondary school level by 100% so uh, you have to remember uh, what is this gross enrollment ratio right see if uh, see 10 students have enrolled in preschool so all those 10 uh, students should go to primary and all of them should go to the secondary so then we have achieved our gross enrollment ratio of 100% and this target uh, according to uh, nep 2020 should be achieved by the year 2030 so remember this now uh, going to the last question in this lecture and this question uh, i am reading and you have to answer this uh, correct answer in the comment section then i will write Uh, i will uh, pin the correct answer with the explanation in the uh, comment section right Wha which fallacy is committed in the argument sound is quality because it is visible so uh, options are on uh, on your screen so you have to answer this with explanation in the comment section then i will uh, pin that right that answer now uh, we have complete batch that uh, we have complete batch in english for ugc net paper 1 and it is uh, uh, we have live lectures daily we have three batches 5 pm 6 pm and 9 pm along with the live lectures you will also get the recorded lectures uh, 5000 plus mcqs then mock test so in in all you will get the complete preparation for your paper 1 and uh, this uh, for to join this you have to download global online app then uh, in the glow from the play store and then uh, from the once you download and register you will see the store icon from the store icon you have to type ugc and then you have to enroll in the course the fee is just 2400 and this fee is for one year so uh, it is a best opportunity for those who are preparing in hindi as well as in english right so as my lecture is in english same you will have complete english lectures and then you will have completely hindi lectures on global online uh, i hope you have liked this video if you have liked Please subscribe to our channel Global Online.